Hey guys, how's it going? So today we're going to be making a swivel base. Um, I'm going to start off uh, by starting at this bottom right hand point and then uh, working my way around. Um, it says it's a base thickness of 10 millimeters and it's a boss of 5 millimeters. So what it means by that is this uh, circle part right here is going to be extruded 5 millimeters up from the uh, base thickness. And then at the end I'm going to draw these three circles here and extrude cut them. Um, I'm going to show you guys a trick for drawing curves with straight lines uh, as well. So we can load up a new part. We see it's in millimeters. Go to our sketch and I'll do this on the top plane. Get our line tool and like I said we're going to start at that bottom right point and we're going to draw this straight line and then here instead of stopping drawing a line uh, you can uh, and pull it off from the point and then bring it back to it until you see that uh, yellow concentric circle and then pull it around and you can see that we have a curve that gets automatically applied. Now uh, one key thing for doing this is you want to make sure that you start your curve in the correct direction or else it won't know which way you're trying to do it. So there we go and we see those are vertically aligned same thing for this point there we go and then same thing it's a straight line bring it back to the point and now it's going to be curved and there we go and now we can go and start uh, dimensioning So we see this bottom piece is 60, radius here is 15, and these are both equal so we're going to hold control click on both, come over here to relations and click equal. Uh, we need to make sure that these are tangent, so this line hold control and this line they need to be tangent and the same thing for this one and we can see it already is with that sketch relation right there. Go back to dimensioning. See this radius is 30. Remember radius for semicircles is measured in radius and for circles it's measured in diameter. We see the center to center of these two points is 96. And these two points are horizontally related so they're on the same line. And this last dimension that is locked or that's preventing this from being fully defined looks like it's these two points. So this point right here and this point right here need to be aligned. So we'll click this point, hold control, click this one, and do vertical. Thank you. 